In the past, preserving food, having it through the fall and winter and early spring, was really at the top of mind. Today, we don't think so much about it because we have, well, refrigerators and freezers and things like that. Choosing vegetables like this winter squash that have staying power and that they will last through the winter, hence the name, was one way of preserving food. Here at my farm, we grow lots of different types of squash, certainly the summer squash, but lots of winter squash as well, such as acorn and butternut. Now, one of the reasons these squash last so long is that they're tough. Um, they have a nice thick skin on them, which allows you to store them in a cool, dark place and keep them there for a very long time. But what I find is that they can be tough to cut open. What I like to do is cut horizontally like this. It's just safer using a sharp knife. And then the squash is more manageable to work with. You see like this, I can peel it easier and take out the seed. Now this recipe is really simple. It requires some butternut squash, some apple, and onion. What I'm going to do is take one large butternut squash or a couple of small ones, two apples, a tart apple like a Granny Smith, and one whole onion. And what I've done is I've sliced half of it. I'm gonna slice the other half like this. And then all I'm going to do is layer the squash and the apples and the onion all together. Here's the apple. Let's add some onion in there. Equally distributing it. And I'm just going to take a little more squash and add to the top here. In a bowl, I'm going to combine a half a cup of olive oil and a fourth a cup of apple liqueur and two teaspoons of finely minced garlic. And I also want two teaspoons of finely chopped rosemary. So I'm gonna chop up some of this rosemary that I gathered in the garden. We grow rosemary here both in the ground and in containers. It's not always coal hardy, so I like to move my containers in the greenhouse in the winter. And sometimes the ones in the ground actually get through the winter if it's not too severe. You know, there's nothing like having fresh herbs at hand. All right, so there we have it. It's about two teaspoons of rosemary. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. Gonna add a half a teaspoon of pepper, although I like a lot of pepper, and one teaspoon thereabouts of salt. Of course, you can use as much as you like. And then I'm gonna whisk this together. The flavor of the rosemary and the apple liqueur really adds a nice touch to this dish. Now when this is all mixed together, you just want to drizzle it over the top like this, distributing it evenly. Now I'm just going to take some foil and I'm going to cover the baking dish like this and I'm going to place it into a preheated oven at 350. Now you want to cook this until the squash is tender, 30 minutes in the oven with the foil on it, and then usually it takes about 15 more minutes with the foil off. It's a beautiful presentation and delicious with so many other things for the fall.